What up, YouTube? T Movies here. Now, here is my uh, list of my top 10 favorite new TV dramas of the year. Now, I'm going to talk about, like, uh, TV dramas, whether it's uh, regular like regular TV shows or uh, or probably limited series or whatever, because I'm not really going to... I haven't really seen many limited series this year, so I'm not really going to do a video to talk about best limited series this year. So, I'm going to add, like, limited series or mini series in this top 10 list. So, with that being said... Anyway, uh, yeah, with that being said, here's my 10 favorite new TV dramas of the year. Alright, coming in at number 10, I'm, I'm gonna add HBO's Watchmen. Now, based on the uh, comic book by, uh, Alan, um, yeah, Alan, uh, Moore, I think his name is. Now, a lot of people would probably add this, uh, add this up a little higher, but to be honest, I kind of, like, the, my top 9 I actually prefer over, uh, Watchmen. Watchmen is still a pretty decent show, you know, uh, you got a great cast. I mean, come on, Yaya Abdul Mateen the second playing Doctor Manhattan was was pretty awesome to watch. You had a uh, Regina King was in this. Uh, you also come on, you had uh, Robert uh, Redford as president, so there's that too. Yeah, Watchmen is such a really clever show. It's very violent. Really, uh, it's also uh, HBO's first actual uh, you know comic book series, so that's pretty cool right there. Yeah, Watchmen was pretty decent, and I'm really looking forward to check out. See, um, they didn't renew it, but I'm hoping they renew it for season two. But we'll see. All right, coming in at number nine it is The Witcher. Now, like Watchmen, lots of people probably add this up a little higher. Like they'll be looking at this video, and be like, "Wait, Witchman is number nine? What?" You know, I like The Witcher, but I didn't really love it as most people did. I still thought it was a decent, clever show. Henry, uh. You know, Henry Cavill as Gerlot uh, of uh, Rivia was pretty great. Uh, I quite have a crush on this new uh, girl named uh, An uh, Anya Chalatora, who plays uh, Yennefer of uh, Van Vanderberger. Uh, you also had uh, Freya, uh, Freya Allen uh, was great in this. I really thought uh, The Witcher, you know, I finished all episodes. The Witcher is pretty s solid. Uh, great. It's more violent than I expected. And it has great performances by Cavill, by everyone else. If you guys haven't seen The Witcher, you know, based on, um, you know, the iconic uh, fantasy books, go check out The Witcher. It's a pretty decent show. Alright. Coming in at number eight, I'm going to add The Twilight Zone. Now, this is a, uh, re like, a remake, like, a TV reboot of the classic iconic TV show uh, created by uh, Rod Sterling. Uh, this time around, you got Joanne Peel being the narrator here. Uh, it had some really interesting uh, story, like some interesting uh, story arcs here. A uh, great, you know, cast who appeared on this. Like you had, uh, you know, actors who actually appeared on this um, reboot, including Camille Nanjiani, uh, Sanaa Lathan, Jacob uh, Tremblay, Seth Rogen, um, Tracy Morgan. I mean, the list goes on and on. They had some really good cast members on uh, Twilight Zone. You know, of course, it's. Uh, there are a couple of episodes that's like, you know, race madness, so there's that too. Uh, lots of the episodes are pretty terrifying, very creepy. A couple are, re like, uh, you know, remakes of uh, the stories from the original Twilight Zone, so there's that too. So, yeah, I probably think I could get a Twilight Zone uh, reboot. It's also a, a CBS All Access show, so there's that too. And Season 2 has uh, was announced not so long ago, so cannot wait to check out Season 2 of the Twilight Zone. Alright. Uh, coming in at number seven, I'm gonna add the Netflix, um, you know, mini series, if you will, uh, when they see us, which is about the, uh, um, the falsely, uh, about these, uh, you know, um, these uh, teenagers from the uh, from 1989 who uh, ended up getting convicted of, uh, you know, of raping this uh, jogger in uh, 1969. It's about the uh, Central Park Five and all, and. These are, you know, kids of uh, color who was, who ended up, uh, you know, being convicted of a, a crime they did not commit, and it's really insane. You know, when they see us, created by Ava DuVernay, was really terrific to watch. Uh, the one who plays the kids in this, uh, so ha uh, so Harris, who plays that, uh, Atron uh, McCrary, uh, Asante uh, Black from uh, This Is Us fame, played uh, Kevin Richardson, Ethan Harias played uh, Yusuf, uh, Yusuf. Um, uh, Salem, you also had, uh, Jarrell Jerome was also great in this. 
Uh, you also had some other good supporting cast members, like uh, Felicity Huffman was in this. Uh, you had um, uh, John Leguizamo, Bianca K. Williams, uh, Nisi Nash. Some really great uh, supporting cast members. Uh, surprised that I did not get any, uh, you know, Golden Globe love. But it's still pretty sad. Uh, crazy is based on a true story, but it really is. Yeah, When They See Us is a really magnificent uh, show. If you guys haven't really seen it, definitely go check it out. Coming in at number seven, I guess you could say this is more. Uh, I'm actually saying coming in at number six, it is the boys. You know, th now this is at now this is um does have comedy in it, but it has more serious tones than uh, Doom Patrol has. Because I added uh, Doom Patrol, my favorite comedy of the list. But The Boys is, like, more serious and just straight funny. It still has some great, uh, funny humor in it. I mean, it also has some really great, uh, violence. I mean, the bathroom scene with, uh, Haley Joe Osment, boy, that was one insane moment. Now, this is probably my second favorite Amazon show right behind Marvel's Miss Mesa. So, there's that. Uh, you know, The Boys is created by, uh, Seth Rogen and uh, Evan Goldberg. There's that. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of the most violent shows you'll see on TV. Uh, has... Like, they even actually, uh, there was even a couple of, uh, episodes, like, you know, scenes that they actually had to cut out for this show. And great casting. You know, you had, uh, Jack Quaid was in this, uh, you know, you had, uh, Carl Urban, uh, Anthony Starr as, a uh, Homeliner, or Homeliner, I meant to say. Yeah, um, Aaron Morty was also great in this. Some great cast members, fun, violent. Uh, it gets serious, it gets really, very uh, comedic. Definitely go check out The Boys if you guys haven't seen that. Alright. Coming in at number 5, I'm going to add a another limited series, and that is The Act. Now, this this is, of course, uh, based on the, uh, based on, like, these, um, you know, articles and all, and the series for uh, Gypsy uh, Blanchard, played by Joey King, who ends up being confined to uh, her wheelchair chair due to uh, illness, and she also um she also has a uh, interesting relationship with her uh, overprotected uh her overprotected mother, played wonderfully by uh, Patricia Charquette. But one day uh but one day um Gypsy ends up uh, meeting this guy she met online um and her and him ends up killing the mother. So yeah, this is. This is based on a true story, like a true crime story, and the act only had, I believe, eight episodes of on our second. The act was amazing. Patricia Shawkett probably gave maybe one of her best performances of her career on the show. It's very dark. Joey King was great on this. Uh, it scored loads of, uh, it did score loads of, uh, you know, award um, nominations, like, uh, just got, like, Critic Choice nomination, uh, it got nominated for the SAG, uh, the Golden Globes, I mean, and it got nominated for the Emmys. Well-deserved nomina nominations, and hopefully it wins some, because it's a really solid show. I also wonder if they could probably uh, do a, a season two, but with, like, a different, um, true story, but anyway. They haven't, they haven't really, um, they haven't really talked about season two, but I don't know. I'll be down to see another one. Like, another story of this, but uh, anyway. Alright. Coming in at number four, I'm going to add Chernobyl. Now, this is, of course, um, an HBO element series. And it is about the uh, the story of the uh, 19, um, of the April 1986 uh, nuclear uh, plant disaster, which uh, occurred um, in the uh, Ukraine, um, Soviet, and uh, Soviet Socialist uh, Republic. And you also got a Great cast members like you got uh, Jared Harris was in this. Stellan Skarsgård. Uh, this movie, um, actually, you know, I guess you could consider a movie because when you watch it, like there's only four episodes, but man, when you watch them together, it does feel like a movie in a way. And this literally feels like it could easily been a movie instead of a limited series. But man, Chernobyl. You know, you also had uh, Jesse Buckley. Crazy that this actually happened in real life. 
I mean, the true story of this is really insane, and, you know, uh, this show also uh, paid tribute to, uh, you know, to those who lost their lives uh, during the disaster, and, yeah, it, got, it also scored lots of uh, award recognitions, so, well-deserved, uh, Shinoba is a really good one. Alright. Coming in at number three, I'm gonna add I'm going to add a Netflix show, and that is called Sex Education. Now, Sex Education is about this, uh, it's about this socially awkward high schooler named uh, Otis, played by Asa Butterfield, uh, who, who, um, whose mother, played by Jillian Aronson, is a uh, sex therapist, and so, uh, Otis wants to, uh, try to, um, you know, Otis is, uh, taken, um, lightly from the, like, he's really impressed by, uh, by him having a, uh, you know, sex therapist of a uh, mother, and so, you know, Otis decides to have, like, a, uh, you know, kind of have, like, a, a sex uh, therapist, like, a uh, sex thing, um, at his, uh, you know, uh, high school, so he decides to uh, help people in uh, his, you know, school with, uh, um, so he decides to have, like, a uh, sex therapy, um, like, run a uh, sex therapy at his own school, and to help his uh, fellow high school students and stuff. It's actually pretty solid. You know, uh, Asa Butterfield's great. Uh, you've got uh, Emma McKay, who plays, uh, uh, who plays like this, uh, you know, um, this uh, bad girl named uh, May, or I should say tomboy named May, who's pretty great. Uh, uh, you also have uh, this actor named uh, Nato Gatwa, I think that's the name. Uh, he, of course, plays uh, Otis's uh, best friend here. Sex Education is really solid. One of the most original uh, shows I've seen, like, in years. It's really decent. If you guys haven't really seen it, go check it out. And Season 2 of Sex Education premieres in, uh, actually premieres in uh, January. So, keep your eye out for that. Alright. Now, coming in at number 2 is obviously... Number two features Baby Yoda, and that is The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. You know, I haven't really cared much for Star Wars shows. Like, uh, I'm not really into the animated stuff, like Clone Wars and all. But man, so I wasn't really sure if I was really more interested in checking out a live action Star Wars series. But I tell you one thing right now: The Mandalorian is fan. It's fantastic. You know, Pedro Pascal as the Mandalorian is great. Uh, Gina Carano is amazing. You know, it has some great. Uh, you know, it has loads of great, uh, you know, directors on board, like Taika Waititi, Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, some great, uh, you know, cast members. I mean, Baby Yoda, come on, who doesn't love Baby Yoda by now? Baby Yoda is, Baby Yoda is everywhere now. So, yeah. But, uh, Mandalorian, is, now, lots of people probably ask this as number one, but my number one, I can slightly enjoy it a little more. But, man, The Mandalorian is hands down an amazing show. And if you guys haven't really seen it, but yeah, again, we still haven't seen The Mandalorian yet. Come on. But uh, definitely go check out The Mandalorian if you guys haven't seen that yet. Alright. Now, my number one favorite TV sh favorite TV drama of the year is Euphoria. Now, granted, Euphoria is a bit of a weird, like, awkward show to watch. But it's really clever. You know, Zendaya, like, coming off of uh, Disney shows and Spider-Man Homecoming and Great Showman, it's a bit, it's a bit weird seeing a Zendaya in a grown-up role like this, but man, Zendaya is amazing on this. You also got other great characters, like uh, Casey, played by Sydney Sweden, or S S Sydney uh, Sweden, I meant to say. Uh, you've got, um, some other great, uh, cast members. And this, you know, you've got, uh, Uh, you got uh, Nate uh, Jacobs, who, uh, played by uh, Jacob uh, Aldari, who's such a douchebag in this, but Jacob plays the role perfectly. Uh, Afori has some weird, crazy uh, moments in this, but it's actually pretty clever. And, you know, season two is coming next year, so keep your eye out for season two. But, uh, yeah, I really I really enjoy Afori. It's, like I said, it's a bit of a weird show to watch. It's very awkward to watch. But, man, it's really clever. If you guys haven't really seen the 40 yet, I'd say give it a show. Uh, give it a shot. I'm say I think you'll enjoy this, this series. Anyway. 
Well, that's pretty much it. Alright, let me do the quick rundown. Uh, 10, Watchmen. 9, The Witcher. 8, The Twilight Zone. 7, When They See Us. 6, The Boys. 5, The Act. 4, Chernobyl. 3, Sex Education. 2, The Mandalorian. And 1, Euphoria. Now, there's loads of other ones I probably could have added. Now, I, mean, I don't really see much new dramas this year. There's actually probably some that I meant to watch, but haven't really got a chance to watch them yet. But Servant was alright. Uh, the Morning Show is an okay show. That's that's not all that bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, Raising the Yon was pretty decent. Stumptown is decent. Emergence. Uh, Undone was pretty good. Uh, Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. Um, Chiro Young with uh, Miles Seller is pretty decent. Uh, Trinkets. Uh, Nesperatu with a uh, very unrecognizable Zachary Quinto. But, uh, and there's some interesting shows to look forward to next year. But, uh, anyway, let me leave it to you guys. What happens to your favorite new TV dramas of 2019? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This here is T-Movie,